Hello everyone, how is it going? Today I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to choose a MacBook Pro from eBay. I recently uh, tried to shop for one in eBay and I'm going to share with you the experience and some of the tips that should save you some time. So let's get started. So first, uh, fire up your favorite browser, type in, let's say, MacBook Pro. Well, uh, you could see there's lots of uh, items being returned at first glance. You will be overwhelmed with all the information. Do not freak. I went to the Apple, um, Apple website and you can see that the base model, entry model is selling for US dollar one two nine nine. You have a base, you have an idea now that the new one costs 1299 so you shouldn't be paying anything more than that for any older laptop and i felt that at this stage 2015 is the value one because i have tried on 2016 let's say you click on 2016 you can see the prices are still expensive uh, basically people are asking for seven to eight hundred you know for a 2016 model. So sometimes you think of it, is it worth paying 850 or should you go for a new one? So I was saying, um, I'm shopping for a MacBook Pro and the model I, I'm eyeing is 2015. So eBay has done a good job filtering here. So all you need to do is to select 2015 over the life hand panel here you have option to select basically I, I wouldn't want to choose what memories I want but I have preference for the model that I have in mind before you purchase uh, any electronic equipment you know it's, it's good to do some due diligence by doing some homework visiting the website and see what they say okay so this is the website that I like uh, everymac.com uh, it gives a details of the various comparisons. So, uh, as I said earlier, the model I'm eyeing is 2015. So over here, uh, it's done a good job to show the comparison with what are the different models from. All right. So let's say you wake up the next day, you would like to monitor the progress of the bidding. Go to click on my uh, my eBay at the top of. I've reviewed filter out the MacBook Pro that I like. I generally like this unit a lot, but the only thing is holding me is um, I tried to contact the seller, but I didn't receive any response from the seller. So I'm kind of wary when I'm dealing with people that I don't know online and they do not respond to you timely. And another thing is the, the one I don't like about this is the photo is is kind of uh, gl glowing. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say it's not clear, but it's a bit like uh, misty. I'm not sure why is that so. And then there are 19 watches, but there's only one bit, and we only left with nine hours. I'm not sure it's a good bit, but I probably passed this. Okay, it says $412.75 right now, and it, the next bit would, would be at least 417 So if I were to enter a, a wrong figure, let's say uh, 41775 which is 41000 or or even like that, 4000 over, and you place the bid, you know, definitely you will be the first bid, the top bidder, but that's not what you want. You have overpaid, and that is a genuine mistake. What you could do is actually you can actually retract the bid by going to E. So there's option over here. You can retract. Right? So you can retract a bid if the seller changed the description of the item or you accidentally bid the amount or you couldn't reach the seller. So 
So like what I said earlier, if I were to drop an email to a seller and the seller doesn't respond within 12 to 15 hours, I would say that's a fair. Or if you are patient, probably 24 hours, you know, then yeah, you can retract it. And uh, one thing to note, if an item has only left with 12 hours or less lifetime, before a listing and you can't retract your okay so it's very clear the instruction is very clear over here so just just uh, a thing to take note right for this item um, yeah this is a good item okay the thing I, I like to always check is is the description over here it says this book has been currently used uh, blah 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 uh, do bear in mind that a lot of the information here, some are the template. Basically, the seller when they post uh, advertisement, they just use a template. So you will find a lot of similarities, you know. But for this, it doesn't look like a template to me. It looks a bit customized, which is good. So uh, things I want to take note is the model number, uh, which is. 840LLA, which I said is a 2.9 gigahertz, uh, which is a mid range based on the, the year 20, 2015. And the drive capacity is the one that I'm very careful. I just want to be sure that uh, we are bidding for the right uh, SSD because there are some seller indicates it as 256 but the description says otherwise so although i chose the filtering is 2015 model and the description says early 2015 if you were to scroll down this doesn't look like a 2015 model to me it says four gigabyte and release year 2013 so isn't it contradict and here says 2015 that summarizes uh, some of the tips that I have, you know, for uh, bidding for a MacBook in eBay. So, just to rec recap, the things to avoid when you are bidding: avoid the sponsorship, those advertisements with the sponsor, you know, and there's no careful with the uh, title. Some might say. 2015 but actually turns out to be 2012 model or, or even older used filtering um, filtering when doing when you are searching for items filter the prices the model the range the storage size and always look for the photos try to avoid those stock photos Alright, that's all my video for today. Please let me know what's your comment in the comments down below. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and like button. And I will see you next time.